The miracle of the gospel is he transforms you on the inside and causes you to love the things you once hated. This is obviously a homeschool podcast. And so we talk to homeschoolers and we talk about homeschooling and we talk about all the things that have to do with family discipleship. And like I said earlier, where we go with it always is that it always leads back to Jesus. We always want to point our kids towards their creator, towards their savior, towards Christ, so that they understand who God is and that everything that we do in homeschooling should be focused on that specifically. On the other side of homeschooling, we have our daily homeschooling life in which we live with, you know, our, our, our co-ops and our friends and our neighbors and all of the people that we interact with on a regular basis. And when we started homeschooling, we're in our 12th year of homeschooling now. When we started homeschooling 12 years ago, it was very, it, it was different because at that time, it seemed like everybody was running towards the gospel. Most people that homeschooled that we knew, and, and we're from Southern California as well. And so most people where I lived in SoCal were running towards the gospel. Well, now over the past few years, and especially since COVID, so many people are running away from something. They're running away from the public schools. They're running away from masks. They're running away from vaccines. They're running away from the indoctrination and all of the things that are going on in the public school system and sometimes in the private school system. But they don't know what they're running towards. They just know that they're running from something. And so this has been so heavy on my heart lately that there's a very different dynamic now in the homeschool world in that it's changed because it's no longer just Christian homeschool families. It's not the conservative Christian homeschool world that we once knew, which I think for Christian homeschoolers, sometimes that can be a little bit uh, scary. But at the same time, God has brought so many families into homeschooling, and it is giving us an opportunity to share the gospel like never before. And we have these families who are coming into our Christian co-ops, and they're coming into you know our our park days and our field trips and all the things that we're doing. And God has just thrown open the doors for us as Christian homeschoolers to be able to share Christ with them. And so I would love for you to share with us how we can go out and share the gospel. And maybe we should talk first about why we should share the gospel. But then I want to talk about how we as Christian homeschoolers can take this opportunity to share the love of Christ. So Ray, if you can just kind of start us off on why. Why do we need to share the gospel with people? The same reason a doctor who's got a cure to cancer would share the cure with people who are dying of cancer. All around us, people are dying. 150,000 people die every 24 hours, 54 million every year. And we've got everlasting life. We can know we've got everlasting life because the Bible tells us that and because we experientially experience the power of the gospel. People say you can't know. Of course you can know. My whole basis of my, basis of my faith it rests upon knowing I have everlasting life. It's the same way you'd know electricity is real. If you didn't believe in electricity because you can't see it, I'd give you a fork and say, stick it up that light socket. And then you'd believe in electricity as the power moves through your body. You say, well, I believe. And the power of the gospel transforms the human life. 22 years, I was a non-Christian, didn't think about God seriously for more than five seconds, if that, in the whole 22 years. I used to pray every night just to get to sleep. But since I've become a Christian, there wouldn't be five seconds when I haven't thought about God. The miracle of the gospel is he transforms you on the inside and causes you to love the things you once hated. I never thought about God, as I said. As soon as I became a Christian, the eyes of my understanding were enlightened. The trees looked different. They raised their hands in praise of God. The birds sung his praises. The sun shone in his strength. The, the sunlight, I mean, the, the blue sky just screamed of the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. So becoming a Christian is, is transforming. We can know that it's true because we experience the power of God and transforming our lives. And we know that the offer of everlasting life is true and the threat of hell. Paul says, wherefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And if hell didn't exist, I'm serious, I wouldn't bother going out and sharing my faith. Yeah. I probably would have got a, a surf shop up in northern Australia. I'm from New Zealand. Australia has better surf, bigger sharks, though. But I probably would have ended up in Australia and just surfed my 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 life away. But I can't do that because I know hell exists, and so that horrifies me and it motivates me to share the gospel as it did with the Apostle Paul. 
Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 